Stan Flake here with the latest. There's been a sad discovery in the search for a man who went missing after a boat capsized on the Murray River. Teams from New South Wales and Victoria have been scouring the area after a 34-year-old vanished in Mildura. After a dinghy, he and a few others were in overturned late Saturday night. Police have confirmed a body's been found this afternoon, believed to be that of the missing man. The Treasurer is keen to have a clear definition of what superannuation is all about. Works underway to legislate the objective of the scheme. Jim Chalmers says super should be about putting together an nest egg for a dignified retirement, but changes the previous government made, allowing people to access their funds early during the pandemic, have put Aussie futures in jeopardy. Super balances were rated as an opportunity, as part of the opportunity to cover for uh, some of the weaknesses and failures in economic policy. Authorities are still trying to contact a couple of thousand people in New Zealand who remain unaccounted for following that cyclone disaster. A state of emergency across the ditch has been extended for another week. It's been revealed around $83 million has been stolen from workers across Australian unis as part of wage theft over the past three years. Dr Alison Barnes from the National Tertiary Education Union says casualisation of the industry increases the chances of being underpaid. Two thirds of people who work in Australian universities are employed casually or fixed term contract. That means they're more open to exploitation that gives rise to wage theft. And Aussie actress Kate Blanchett has won Best Actress at the BAFTAs this morning for her role in After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. Aussie test skipper Pat Cummins will return home due to personal reasons, but it's not expected he'll miss the third test against India. He's expected to fly back home to Sydney shortly, but will return to the subcontinent later this week, ahead of play commencing March 1. Sydney, Hawthorne, Essendon and Port Adelaide have all been handed player movement concessions ahead of the upcoming AFLW season. The four clubs will be able to sign a certain amount of players next month without using a trade. And Aussie surfer Molly Picklin has won the Hurley Pro at Sunset Beach in Hawaii. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Clouds lingering across the limestone coast for the rest of the day. 27 the top, partly cloudy tomorrow, 26, then heating up, partly cloudy in 33 on Wednesday. And want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the listener app, search for Limestone Coast and add to your favourites now.